Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics and welcome to my pond update. So this is my update. So thank you so much for joining me on my journey is building this pond. It was a lot. I have to admit a couple times I believed I was in over my head and I really appreciate all the encouragement. I could not have done it without you guys, let me tell you. Let me show you how far we've gotten. It's been five weekends and five weeks. Now I'm done with all the big heavy lifting stuff. Now it's all fun, fluff and move and primp. Let me show you. Just gotta acclimate the little guy. The temperature, slowly bring in water. See how she likes it. So here is the moment of truth. I'm about to turn the pump on. But early this morning, I acclimated one little goldfish. I can't find him anywhere. So he's hiding really good. I checked the skimmer. But there's lots of little nooks and crannies for him to hide in. So I'm gonna set this up on a tripod and turn on the waterfall. Oh, please don't leak. Okay, I have it on. I'm gonna walk over to the other side and plug it in. Keep your fingers crossed. Yes, it does leak on the other side, so I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. I see somehow it got tilted, it was even, level I mean, and now it's, oh darn, oh, it's still nice. But it's a 24 hour streak. Wasting all your thoughts just to criticize, but there are plenty more ways to think. I am not pretending. I'm born like this, a game for the reckless. It's so extreme, and I don't really care. I don't really care, yeah. No, I don't really care. I don't really care, yeah. You're calling me a mad woman. Oh, this is not what I wanted to look like on this side. Huh. It really is tilted just too much. Don't be such a stranger. Tell me how you're feeling. You know I don't have to live inside your frames, boy. It's such a funny way to tell me what you're searching life. Well, I'm a mad woman. Sorry I don't compromise. Mad woman, mad woman Keep calling me a mad woman Boy, you tell me your business If I'm a mad woman
I think I need an, a can of that foam spray, the expanding foam. Because three places the water was going under the rock instead of over the rock. Be right back. Okay, I don't know what happened to my first little fish. I've been looking all day for him. He's probably in a hidey hole. I cleared off the skimmer. These guys are getting acclimated to the temperature right now. Then I'll drip apples to meet them to make sure everything's copacetic. I'm going to count them so that I can make sure I don't lose any. Pretty exciting. Let's see here. Here's what I got so far. I get my electric tomorrow. Oh, look at my fingers. Oh my gosh. It's a spray foam. That's, I hate to even point. Every one of my fingers is dirty. I can't even point. Pretend I'm pointing. I hate that green Amazon bag. <laughs> Let's see some of the... So I asked my neighbor because... He's the one that sees the back of this. He'll never see the waterfall. What would you like to see? And he said, flower pot. So I built some flower pots for this side. And as it, they grow up, it'll fill in. Hopefully. And the ones on top will trail. Then I thought after I did this, I should have done aquaponics up here. That would have been perfect. Have this water from the water flow. A line of tubes going through to them and spouting over. I still may do that because that just is like, what? So I got this row done, that row done, that row, and that's where I stopped. So I'm still getting rid of the rubber. You can see this here over here. You can see how there's, you can't see the rubber now. Hopefully you can't, but. And then because I don't like this, I'm gonna hang that somewhere else and put another um, tub. I'm gonna put a summer tub right there. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I still got lots of rock to work with. I'm laying them out because it's like a puzzle piece. I got some more over here. I got most of the three-tiered garden, one, two, three, four-tiered garden done. This is the dirt that I used digging up the yard. This row here, all this is collard greens, nasturtiums, cabbage, zinnia. They're all safe for my tortoise to eat. So she just strolls out here, goes anywhere she wants, eats whatever she wants. She pretty much does anything she wants, because she's awesome. Oh. I was hoping to get it done enough for me to sit down. I just got come around this corner, then I'm gonna be able to sit down and enjoy. I'm so stoked. I'm so glad I put the extra effort and I was ready to give up because I wanted to come down and then split into two and then trickle down here. And it's like, oh, that's exactly what I was looking for. Except there's a leak. There is a leak. So, <clears throat> you see how here it's leaking. I have it going into this potted plant. The nozzle bro broke off the expanded thing, so... I have to wait to go out. I can't go back out to the store again. But in the interim, I've diverted the water away from it, so it's very slightly. But yeah. And then I, I mean, before the waterfall is a little tilted, I put a piece of wood. See that? I put a piece of wood on this side to make it more level. And now it flows over this, the slate at the same time. Yeah, so when I turn it off, and if I had to take off the hose, it does not backwash out like it stops. And I think that was for in like a canister to backwash, but I don't have a canister, so I was thinking about setting, using that water line just a little bit, setting up for another little water fountain, water, waterfall. But, yep, that's what I got so far. Oh, I forgot I was acclimating fish. Be right back. So this didn't work. <laughs> I don't know if you can see these bio balls. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to get them a net. <laughs> I thought I could tuck them down under the filter. Tell me how you feel. 
feeling you know i don't have to live inside your frames boy it's such a funny way to tell me what you're searching life well i'm a mad woman sorry i don't compromise mad woman mad woman keep calling me a mad woman So don't mind the background noise, you know, the waterfall and all. <laughs> I'm thinking if I do future updates, I may shut the waterfall off so you can hear me better. But for right now, that's one of my most favorite sounds. So it's staying on for now. I have finished the rock wall. I have started to plant some plants in between, like rock growing plants in between the pond and the, the earth. So I'm trying to blend the lines a little bit. I've got some marginal plants along the edge. My Rosa Sharon that was already there and some other plant, um, ornamental grass that I'm gonna grow. I got some water hyacinth and a hula hoop. I'm gonna cover that hula hoop with the black garden material. And I'm gonna make a couple floating baskets. And right there is a it's like anchored to the ground with a rock. It's a place where I put floating food so it does all the food doesn't just go into the filter. I love some of these marginal plants. There's my waterfall. So I think the last I saw my lilac tree was still all pinned back. I had pulled it all back and roped it while I made the waterfall. And I was so hoping that when I opened it up it was gonna do exactly that. I'm really liking that. Okay. I built some steps. I'm going to start. Because I love sitting here with my feet in the water. I keep my feet wet in the pond. I love it. And we're going to start feeding the koi right around here so they can come up to you. I put some solar lights in. I don't know how effective they're going to be. The solar rope light is not going to go there. It's going to go on the bridge when we get it um, finished. Here's some of the plants I did for my neighbor's view. <laughs> and this part is still leaking. It's not actually the liner's not leaking. It's leaking up here through the rocks. I just bought some more expanding foam. I haven't got to it yet. That small leak. That small leak could be treacherous. Down here, there was a massive leak in between here. Kyle helped fix it. I. Uh, is at an end trying to connect the flex adapter with the flex hose. It was just a constant leak. And this white PVC, when I can shut off the filter, shut off the waterfall, water does not run back down, but I can open this up and drain some water if I need to. I'm not going to show you right now, but in here is a bag of bio balls that were all over the pond, as you said. <laughs> <laughs> and some floss fill, some polyfill. What a story with the polyfill, let me tell you. This is the back end as I'm coming up the, uh, the ramp to my porch. This is what I see. Well, don't mind the mess back there. I'm not done with the yard yet. But here's the, uh, I'm going to try to hide the skimmer a little bit. Let's see if we, so this morning we could see right down to the bottom. I can see the toy. I don't know if the reflection will allow you to see the toy. There's a lot of hard work. A lot of lumping rocks. Moving rocks from here to there, here to there. They dump it you know, in your yard in one spot, and then you gotta get them into the wheelbarrow, then I had to move them over here, move them back there. <laughs> move them to the right, move them to the left. Then you get some walls that, you know, cave in, and you realize, oh, you built it wrong, and you gotta rebuild it. I had built some cement rocks using them on the bottom, thinking I wouldn't see them, I wouldn't mind. Absolutely stood out like a sore thumb to me. So I had to remove them and do that again. So this is my update. Um, and this is, I just, 
love the waterfall. I just noticed neighbors watching me. So I probably look like a fool sitting here talking to my camera. <laughs> if you're interested in this kind of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you want to know when I post my next video, I mean, I could tell you, and it's written on my channel art page, or you can hit the notification bell. <laughs> Thanks for checking out my channel.